Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Trailmakers, episode three of the saga of building a roller coaster in this game. Every time we get a little bit closer, we make new discoveries, and if you want to get in on the fun, I'm going to post a link to my Discord, because we have been... We've been absolutely milling over these ideas, pooling our information, pooling our knowledge. Go ahead and click that link in the description. We have a really good time there. It's really fun to get creative together and just talk about what we've been doing, show each other the stuff that we've got. It's a really good time. So if you want to do that, it's in the description. But today, I have an idea that may, in fact, solve the problem once and for all, because Luminous posted in the Discord and said something about the fact that he was trying with hover blocks. And that made me think, what's the problem that we've been having this entire time? Vehicles don't like to interact with each other. That's the problem. We have the wheels, they come up, they grab onto this little rails, and they don't do anything. They just spin uncontrollably, or they don't spin at all. And nothing happens, the car doesn't move. So what's the solution to this problem? Just don't have the vehicles touch. It's simple. So today, that's what we're going to be trying to do. Make a roller coaster cart that has no contact with the rails whatsoever. This is going to be good, but probably extremely complicated. So let's get into it. As always, you got to start with your firm foundation. Here we are. Now we're back to the ramp idea, using those stupid wedge blocks. But, you know what? They serve their purpose here. At least they understand that they are worthless and garbage and look really, really stupid. That's all I need from them. That's all I need. Let me just put down some anchor blocks, and then I'll fill you in on the idea. So basically, I'm gonna have hover blocks. Just like Luminous said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna base my knowledge off of his... his knowledge. So really, I'm not smart today. It's all Luminous. Luminous is the hero, the star of the show. So we're going to have a little bit of a hovercraft. And basically, I'm going to take some logic blocks, and it should turn out the fact that it will just float in the rails and go as fast as I want and never touch the rails. It should work out that way. Who knows what's going to happen? I never know what's going to happen when I make these stinking machines. So, let's get on with let's get on with building it. Distance, eh, who knows. Uh, well, let's just leave them on for now. Whoops. Let's just make it so they stay on. All right. I mean, it's floating. Whoops. It's tipping. Eh, eh. We Yeah, we're going to need some stability on this thing. But the idea is there. So we've got, we've got this, that can kind of turn. We don't really need turning, but we do need forward propulsion. So let's fix that with a little mini thruster. I wish these things had attach points on the top, because that would be really, really handy. But they don't. All right, now we can at least move the thing. That's what we need. Now, steering would be kind of nice, now we've got left and right. We can turn slowly. It's okay. It doesn't matter. This thing sounds really cool as well. E, it being on hovers really makes it easy to go up here too. Here we are. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Ah. As I always say, literally, always I have been saying this. Am I right, guys? Let's just put some rails on the thing. And will be nice and easy. No problems whatsoever. There we go. Now the thing will stay up there. Right. Unless those rails are too high. Which it kind of looks like they are. Alright, will this hold us on? Will it keep us from falling off? Yes, it will. Perfect, actually. Okay. That's the idea. These things are quite noisy. Oh my goodness. Obnoxious, even. Basically, we need to we need to find the block that is a distance sensor. So we're going to have a distance sensor on each corner. And when it gets too close to something, it will activate the thruster and it'll push away. Simple as that. It's really really quite simple. Let's see if this works. We're just going to get close to this. Oh, there we are, you see? It went off on its own. 
It seems like it's a little bit too close and the distance needs to be a little further. But that's the idea, okay? So, ooh, 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 see, it's taking control of my car. That's the idea of this right here. Now, I understand roller coasters are definitely things that are supposed to come in contact with the rails. But this is starting to seem like it might work. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah! It's definitely too far. It needs to be closer. Uh-oh. Ah, you see, there's a problem. That back one isn't sensing as well as the front one. It might be because the rails are hard to see. That might be the problem. Hopefully that's not a problem. It's looking like the rails are really hard to see. Oh, oh it was kind of doing its thing there. Okay, okay. It, it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. It should be, it should be just fine. It should be just fine. It should be just fine. Okay, so I've got this crazy looking setup right here. I'm hoping that having three bars on the side will be enough that the sensors will be able to see it and correct for the uh, adjustment so it can turn and not crash into the wall. Cause this thing is gonna be absolutely blasting. It's gonna be going so fast that you won't even be able to see it, basically. And I want it not to crash into the walls and burn in a fire, because that would not be health and safety advisory approved. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go on the assumption that we're clear. With dainty fingers. Uh oh, that's not right. Hehehe. <laughs> dainty fingers. Dainty fingers, that's right. Nice. Okay. Well that's kind of exactly the opposite of what we needed. I may see an issue. Oh no, <laughs> I made it too thin, but let's just see, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, it's taking control already, oh boy, oh boy, recover, recover, ah, 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 so it's definitely seeing the poles, oh boy, oh boy, yeah, it's seeing them now, for some reason it wasn't before, it is definitely seeing them now, okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, a small uh, calculation issue on the actual rails themselves, but that's an easy fix, right? That's an easy fix. Widened it has been. It should fit the machine now. There's always fine tuning to be done, but I want to get the, the, rough, the rough stuff out of the way first. Just so that it's smooth sailing when it comes to fine tuning. Perfect positioning. It's a little jiggly. That's not good. Maybe the hover pads are interacting with this thing in a weird way. See, the beauty of this design is it's gonna allow it to go around turns as well. Turns is something that I was very confused about, and as soon as we made a cart that had contact with the thing that worked, I don't know how turns were gonna go. This allows it to happen. Okay, let's- Woo! no, 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 you're taking over my vehicle. I don't appreciate that. Ah. Come on. Uh. All right, nice and easy, nice and easy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's kind of correcting. Hmm. It is, in fact, not seeing it some of the time. Well, here's a couple things I'm noticing. The hover pads, ah, please. The hover pads sometimes don't see any ground below them and it sinks. And sometimes these guys don't see any wall. So that's a little bit of an issue, but I think it's easily fixed. All we have to do is change the material. I think if we just take these poles and change them out for some blocks, they will be able to be seen by the sensors far easier. It's going to look a little less amazing, but just a small sacrifice. Just a small sacrifice. It should be okay. Should be just fine. Don't worry about it. With a little material change, I think a lot of things are possible. Oh boy, these rails do stop me from falling off, but they really mess up this thing. Oh my goodness. And with the inability to steer, ah, please just let me live. Just let me exist here. Oh my goodness, this is so frustrating. Okay, here we go. We're on the rails now. All we need is to never hit the walls. Ooh. Ah, you see, the problem still exists for the, the, the hover blocks. We are, we are on the floor now because they can't see any blocks to push against. Hmm. 
Looks like changing the wall isn't gonna be enough. This is starting to look less and less like a roller coaster with every change. Oh no. Oh, this is making me sad. Oh, I just want it to work. But it's really starting to look not as cool as it used to. Listen, guys, this is a this is a roller coaster of the future. And in the future, things are bound to look a little bit different. All right, just like this looks a little bit different, we're gonna have to get used to these things, guys. Now listen, uh, Mr. Mr. Sensor up front. Oh no, the walls are too short. Uh, well, it's definitely staying afloat a lot better. A lot better. And it, when it is sensing, it does do its job. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. I don't wanna build you. Get off my head. All right, here we go. The final test. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh. All right, look at this. It did just bump the wall a little bit. Ah, uh, if the distance was set up a little bit more, it might be beneficial. Oh boy. Ah, now you see, that might also be not true. They're all firing all at the same time, counteracting each other. Hmm, the distance might need to be a little shorter. Honestly. Huh. If the sensor blocks were out a little bit farther, that might benefit us a little bit. Because, yeah, they're, they're fighting against each other right now. Hmm. Fine-tuning needs to be done. So if these were, instead of being there, maybe, say, up here, that's not as close to the corner as I want it to be. We've got the new distance. We've got them in a new position. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Absolutely wedged in there. I'm starting to lose hope, guys. I'm starting to lose hope in this design. I was, I was so happy that I thought of this, and now I'm just sad. Oh, man. I mean, it may work still, but it's not a roller coaster at this point. It's just a hover car on a road. Oh, this is very wiggly. It's not hitting the side, but that's also because we're not going at breakneck speeds. Holy cow. Uh, okay, let's just, uh... I mean, it started to, it started to even out. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna say this car is finished, and I'm gonna build myself a track to race it on. This is gonna be wild. Absolutely wild. You know, another thing I didn't foresee is this, the complexity limit. Ugh, I didn't foresee having to, uh, worry about that, but honestly, I should've, because I'm using so many blocks, even though blocks don't use too much complexity. There's just so many. Hmm. This could turn into be an issue. But you know what? I am not concerned. Not in the least. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. It might just self-destruct when I put it down. It. <laughs> this is not physics approved. <laughs> Look at how much weight is being held up by these tiny little corner pipes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. At this point, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I feel like, I feel like things should be a little different, but whatever. I'm pleased. My road is staying up, but I'm at 697 complexity on this thing and there's only 700 complexity I have to spare. There is a mod that exists that can raise the complexity limit, or maybe even remove it, I'm not sure. I have it downloaded, I just haven't used it. Because honestly, I haven't built too many things that push the complexity limit, because this thing is just a lot of blocks. All right, here we go. The real test, we're gonna drive it on this road full speed ahead. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys, I don't know if you noticed. That was flawless. You know what needs to be done? I need... 
I need... Here we go. Activate mods. Where is it? Complexity mod. There we go. Where are you? <laughs> I can set my own complexity limit. Here we go. Uh, let's go with... Da, 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 da. Oh, it completely disappeared. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hope that's not a problem. Let's just put you over there. Tuck you away. Nice and easy. Okay. <laughs> we have... We have destroyed the complexity limit. It no longer exists. Oh, no. I just reached the, uh, the edge of the build bubble. I honestly didn't know there was one. I've never tried to build something so big. Oh, no. Come on. Why do you, why do you have to put restrictions on us, game? This is a game about creativity. And I know you don't want us to break our computers, but if we want to, just let us. Uh, whoa, okay, now physics are getting a little bit wonky. Oh no. Oh boy, I think we have discovered the limits. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, we're getting- I honestly- What? Why wasn't it bending at all, in the least, before? Oh my goodness, it's literally pulling these blocks out of their sockets. Oh my, what have I done? Huh. Oh my goodness. Hmm. This is... this is interesting. I... I never... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. But I guess after the last test I didn't think that the blocks would bend under their own weight. Oh boy, what to do now? It's still bendy. A little bit. But I think it's stable enough to try it. Now, I'm not sure this is much bigger than the one I had before. Well, in conclusion, I think I would say this is not it. This is not quite there because, I mean, honestly, look, it is working. I can go full speed and not even crash into the walls. And I don't have to touch any key except for W. I'm just going straight forward. The sensors are doing their job perfectly. But the issue I'm having is the fact that I can't qualify this as a roller coaster. I just can't do it. I thought that it would work out better with the rails, but as soon as I put the blocks in, it looks like it's just a hover car on a road. So honestly, I'm gonna put this one as a uh, as a no go. I thought we'd get there with this one. I was pretty confident, but still, I think this is pretty cool. It's just, it's not what we're looking for. Well, that's gonna do it for today. My brain is all tired now, and I need a break. And <laughs> I'll go think about this problem some more. And we'll brainstorm. I don't know if we really gained any new information from today, because, honestly, it was just a cool little hover car. Nothing more. Nothing more. <laughs> oh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Trailmakers. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more Trailmakers and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.